many of those molecules are probably more than 4 billion years old. And uh, they have, of course, been recycled. They have uh, evaporated and condensed back again. They have gone through the whole water cycle on Earth. Not all the water molecules uh, that we see here in this river are identical. Uh, most of them have two hydrogens and one oxygen atom. But about one in 7,000 molecules um, has a somewhat heavier hydrogen atom, which we call deuterium. And we do call that water, we call actually uh, heavy water. We see that actually also in material in comets. Comets also have a large amount of heavy water. This is one of the questions. Can we trace sort of the origin of the water on Earth through the fraction of the heavy water that we see in the various objects from which we think the water comes, like the asteroids, like the comets? Regions of space between the stars are not empty, that they are filled with a very, very dilute gas. And the denser concentrations of that gas are called interstellar clouds. These clouds consist mostly of, of gas, mostly hydrogen, um, and also tiny dust particles. And it is within these dense clouds that stars can form if these clouds can collapse under their own weight. A lot of the water um, is actually formed on grains, these tiny dust particles that are present in clouds. Uh, so think of uh, grains of sand on the beach, but then about a thousand times uh, smaller, so small silicate particles. So the atoms come in, uh, molecules come in, hydrogen comes in, oxygen come in, and then they have actually enough time here on the grain to find each other and then form a bond and form a water molecule.